Greetings to the universe and all her beautiful beings. It's I, Reese. And i um, coming for a quick update for you guys. I cut my hair off. Um, actually, I shaved my head about a month ago. Like in the beginning of February because hair is falling out on the sides again. It's very thin. So I just keep it close. But starting to get chilly on my head for some reason but anyway i wanted to come back and let you guys know so um we discovered what's going on with me as far as my back issues so i have bulging discs um in my lower back and arthritis in my whole spine yay said no one ever but there are positives um we know what's wrong we know how to treat it and i don't need surgery at this point yay that's not saying I won't need surgery in the future, but right now I don't need surgery. So that's great. Um, too hot with the hood, too hot without it. But that's okay. Um, I'm still I'm doing physical therapy because the more motion we get done, the longer it'll take for my back, my spine to completely go wonky worse than it already is so more movement is better for my condition so I'm doing that um I'm walking short distances without my walker and every week at physical therapy we try to get a little further so um, I went a quarter of a mile without my walker on the treadmill I was able to hold on to that and that was great because I haven't been able to walk a quarter of a mile in a long time and it, I'm not gonna say it wasn't painful but it was bearable there's a difference between oh my god this is ridiculous pain and I need to have a seat and oh my god this is uncomfortable <laughs> but I can still press on so that's what we're learning in therapy is to press on and when to stop so yay um my goal is still to be able to do hikes um, not quite able to do that yet. I'm doing flat terrains right now. And some of the hiking trails that I want to do are inclines and ups and downs and stuff. And I can't do that right now. But, um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I had a serious health issue and I, um, where I had a bad, um, allergic reaction to being at work in that environment because people were eating stuff and it was getting in the air. And that caused me to have a really bad allergic reaction. But my company that I work for is really great. They were able to get me set up at home. I would show you my setup. But yeah. It's kind of messy right now. So I'll show you later once I tidy it up. But um, I'm able to work from home. So I'm not missing any work anymore. Which is great. And um, oh, my hair is still thinning you guys. You can you can tell it the longer it gets like when I cut it really short you can't tell it's something that's really bothering me <laughs> but it'll be okay I mean I don't mind keeping my hair short so that it's not so noticeable for me and I don't get upset when I'm in the shower and the hair just ew. I don't like it when it falls out and everything but anyway that's another story for another time um they let me work from home and I'm happy about that um this is just a really brief all over the place update for you guys because I'm gonna clock in soon I have to be to work in about 20 minutes so um, I don't want to be late I mean there's really no excuse to be late when you're working from home so um, I'm at my dad's house my dad let me set up my work from home stuff at his house because it's a legit office setup so it's no way I could have set it up in my car and worked from it but yay um, my car is good. Um, I'm still not able to fully sleep in it yet because I don't have my power station. But once I get my power station and I can use my CPAP, I'm sorry, my BiPAP in there, um, I will be able to sleep in there full time. Now it's just a couple of naps. And it was really, really cold here, so my dad didn't want me sleeping in my car because he was like, you'll freeze to death. So I came in here. But, um, <laughs> uh... I am trying to um, get a apartment now because I have to take care of my brother and he's got special needs and the state does not like for people who have my brother's type of needs to not have a permanent place to stay. So we're gonna get an apartment 
so my brother can move in with me and I can take good care of him. So we're on a waiting list for four different apartment complexes because the apartment complexes that I like, everybody likes. And the ones I don't want my brother there because I feel like they're unsafe environments. You can get an apartment there quite easily. But I don't want to have an apartment someplace where I'm afraid that somebody will try to break in and steal what little we have because I'm a minimalist. Um, and I don't ever intend to not be a minimalist. I feel like a major problem with us as people is we latch on to material possessions and praise those above all else instead of realizing that the only connections that actually matter in this realm are the connections we make with other people. So, um, the less you have, the more you seek out others and the more relationships and communities you build. That's what's important, your community, your relationships. That's what your legacy should be here on earth. And that's just what I believe. So, I mean, I'm not telling you you have to believe that, but we need to start prizing people above all else. We need to start taking care of each other because we're what matters. People are what matters. And living beings are what matters. Like, why? I'm not going to get on it, but not here. I'm not going to get on my soapbox here and be like, why do you have six 50-inch screen TVs? Can't watch but one of them, right? Just saying. But um, <laughs> I'm not downing you if that's what makes you comfortable. Be you. Be comfortable. But that's not what works for me. So I'm going to help my brother by, um, we're going to have a minimalist apartment. We're going to have furniture that, um, for you to come in, chill with us if you want to hang out or whatever, but we're not going to have like a bunch of extravagant things. But anyway, um, my brother and I will be taking weekend trips once I get him. And once I get the, the tent I want, I don't have a tent set up and my SUV is too small for two people to sleep in in my opinion. I'm sure it could be done, but I have a mid-size SUV and I'd rather have a big one or a van if I'm gonna have to camp and have two people sleeping in it. So, um, I wanna get a tent. I saw the one I want. I like the bell tents. I think they're so cool. But um, I also saw a pop-up tent that has like two rooms. That's what I want to. So, I'll be looking into that. But um, me and my brother will go ahead and go to campsites and stuff because the more I exercise and move around, the better my arthritis will get. So that's what I'm planning on doing. But I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Um, sorry this was all over the place. But we all know I like to talk and squirrel because of the ADHD. So um, if it pops in my mind, it comes out sometimes. I apologize. I'm working on that. But anyway, I'm a work in progress. We all are. But um. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know I'm still, I'm still alive and I'm still here and I'm still, you know, doing the best I can to live the best life I can for myself. And um, you guys take care, stay safe, and I'm going to try to post more, but I can't make promises. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. And remember, I love you guys. Bye.